teenager. So you know both Invader Gear and Zim, you know, that makes up Invader Zim. The alien, mysterious alien with a robot, a cocky robot, a funny, mysterious robot, Gur, which is the most popular of the, the show, specifically with his disguise. You know that, right? You probably heard of this design. You probably heard of him with his disguise. Me personally, too, you know, but I heard much more of Invader Zim. Where I. But I think there should be something, at least something, something to be at least implemented that probably was scrapped because of reactions from the crew. Gurx Mimi, you probably know about this shit. And if you don't, I don't care because you, barely any people support it. In fact, when I mentioned it on Invader Sim Roleplay, some guy even called me black. Yeah, no joke. He basically implemented racism into his brain. But it, it is a bit popular. It is only rarely mentioned on the Evaderism community. Why? Because Mini is barely even known, you know. But this is why I think it should at least get attention or it should have at least gotten implemented to this show. At least as a relationship, I don't know. Um, so... First of all, this, their disguises are completely different animals, but have a lot in common. Like dogs and cats. We've all heard of this combination before. Literally. Ever since kindergarten, we've heard of dogs and cats matching up together. Hell, there are even dogs and cats having relationships in fiction. Hell yeah. Wait. Yeah, bitch. Okay, so. Gur and Mimi should probably like this. Oh, yeah. I would love if it happened like that. I don't know. Like, having a cute relationship, you know. Like that. Huh. Okay. So. You know, dogs and cats they like they like have two things in common but in this situation they only have one thing in common their pers personalities their personalities are completely different Gur is kind of messy and silly you know look at his tongue like goddamn can if you think that's not silly go die in a fire J J for community guidelines this is a J but Mimi is kind of edgy. You, you know, it looks like a kind of emo shit. Um, but she's barely known. Basically, before, basically, they she isn't. She is barely in the show. This is what caused Gurix Mimi to get fucking um down the hill. It literally disappeared. It's not even mentioned at all in Re Invaders in Roleplay. Only if I come in, I literally start mentioning it like crazy. But I think it's a good idea to even ship it, I don't know. Or at least, um, I don't know. Understand my words here. Um, so... Dogs and cats have a, have a like, something in common. Affection and personality. But personality is cut off from here. No. But affection is the only thing left. And affection means a kind, a, a gentle liking of someone. And that is perfectly fitting for both of those. Especially when they're on the disguises. It fits best. But, bro, I think Shonen, even the god master Shonen, decided to plan this out. Like... He specifically, he specifically built those designs to like have a relationship, but then scrapped this, sh this crap, just because he thought it was a bad idea, and the community community wouldn't even like it at all. I think he's right. Barely anyone mentions it. I think it would be a great idea. Like it would be so cute, adorable. Shit, it's so fitting. Just wish 
those both had a relationship at least. I don't know why, it's barely even shipped in the community. It should, even more. Okay guys, this was my thoughts. Let me know if I'm a degenerate that should stop shipping miners. Goodbye.